to find out. Hit it. Oh, ha, ha, yeah. Go Rams, baby. The Rams in the Super Bowl. In the Super Bowl. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ha, ha, yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to a fresh new episode of the Fitness Avengers, where we fight fat, frustration, and fitness fakes. I'm your host, master trainer and author Tony Ariola from TotalBodyProject.com on a personal mission to help you live your life fit. Coming at you every Monday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Facebook and YouTube live. Woo! What a game. What a ball game. The Rams are in the Super Bowl. Ah. It's always good to do a show when you're in a really, really good mood. Uh, if you're watching live, make sure you say what's up. Make sure you jump on in, or if you just want to hate it on the Rams, <laughs> feel free to do that. <sighs> so, what do you want to eat tonight? I don't know. What do you feel like eating? You want to do chicken? Well, we had chicken already. What about Chinese? Ah, you know, I'm trying to cut back. What about, ah, here we go again. How many times do you have to have that same conversation and i think that conversation is actually the problem so we're going to talk about that today today i'm going to share with you secrets techniques tips so you can meal prep like a boss we're going to go over proper meal planning how to start the week weekly meal plans and well besides the top of our life how to avoid the pitfalls our ask the trainer is should i order a meal prep service Good question. I got a lot, a lot of clients that ask me that. Um, like I said, if you're watching live, make sure you say hi. If you're watching the replay, watching live, hit the hashtag live fit. And my little partner is going to send you my official secrets of the skinny guide. So you can start on your rapid weight loss journey. Now that, that the COVID, I think, I think it's, it's ending, but I think we've said that before. Uh, but why is eating healthy? So hard. I mean, you have the best intentions. You're thinking like, okay, if I get to do this, let me set up. Monday's going to start. I'm going to hit my macros. I'm going to count my calories, hit my steps. But then your husband comes home and he wants pizza. Or he wants a burrito. With different goals, guess what? It's going to lead to a, a fight, an explosion. An explosion that doesn't, doesn't have to happen. So we're going to talk about that. But first, hopefully you're staying healthy. I know I think I had um, a couple more clients tests or been imposed, exposed to COVID. And luckily, I can say that as far as like the clients that I'm helping, the people around me, everyone's recovered pretty well. People have been down for maybe the most three or four days. But on the whole, a lot of people have been bouncing back. So that's promising news. And hopefully we can get our numbers stabilized and we can get back to celebrating. That's right. The Rams are in the Super Bowl. Epic, epic win yesterday in a, a, a great game with the 49ers who have had a tremendous season. So shout out to the 49ers. So my, me and my beautiful wife got to go and experience an incredible game. So go Rams. Um, love you guys. You guys are just rocking and rolling. So let's think about you wanting to change this meal prep. You want... You want to get just like lean and fit and excited and develop a healthy lifestyle, but how do you do that? Do you go from zero to 100? You know, do you, you, you download the, the app and you, you, you get the meal prep, you know, the neutral system meals start coming. Can you go there? Well, chances are that's going to lead to more failure because all or nothing just going guns blazing is not going to get you there. You really have to think about what you're doing right now. Assess your current situation and see if you can find what's actually working. Is it Monday through Friday? Do you have a kind of like a routine? What can you improve there? Um, look for week, the weekends, right? What are your family? When when are you and your family eating healthy together? And or your significant or other if you're by yourself, when do you seem to just have it down? And see if you can replicate that stuff. Versus trying somebody else's system and dumping it, dumping it into yours, it's just not going to work. And it's really um, going to set you up for some failure. Now, let's think about the parties involved. If you're looking at meal prepping like a boss, 
who's going to be doing what is are you and your your wife or your husband or you and your partner meeting as a team are both of you guys on the same page do you guys have the same goals is it to eat healthy is it just reckless abandon is one person super stressed out one person controls all the thing figure out who's involved what about the children are the children going to get a vote um, who's involved in making this decision because if you struggled before chances are you struggled because not everybody was involved think of the it you know the the funny part about fitness is that we tend to approach it just like it's like this unique thing that we just all, all or nothing either i do this or i don't do that we don't imp- approach it like we do work problems work problems you tend to try something it doesn't work you change it and then you try something else and you change it until you find what works However, with meal prep and meal planning and healthy eating in general, people seem to think it's on or off, but it's not. It's a continuum. You really want to think about what you're doing well, what can you replicate, and what system you can employ in order to make sure that you get more and more success. So think about it. If you're going to use the service, you try like freshly, blue apron. Uh, You're going to have any type of delivery service. You're going to pick it up, do a nutrition. Whatever it is, there's no really right or wrong answer. There's only something that will work, serve your family or not serve your family or serve your family a little bit less. Now, once you get everybody everybody involved and you guys have to have those conversations where everybody's talking about what they want, what's important for them, where they want to go. Now it's what are you willing to do? Be realistic. Don't shoot for pie in the sky. We're going to eat, you know, like I'm eating today. It's my dinner. Um, Carrots, two carrots and a tomato <laughs> so it's pretty low calorie pretty nutritious uh, it's gonna help me get to my goal <laughs> but you're just not gonna go from eating like chicken wings and drinking beer see like eating two carrots and a tomato it's just not gonna happen so you gotta be really be realistic with your expectations and what you're willing to do consistently day in and day out all right that's emoji time Woo! just like we did with those rams Go Ram Super Bowl. Hit those loves. Hit those likes. Um, yeah. Super Bowl, baby. <laughs> hit the hashtag live fit to get a copy of my secret to the skinny guy. Uh, yeah, we're showing everybody how to get skinny, get ripped, as we now are done with January and we're rolling into February. Now, next step. Okay, we met with everybody. Everyone's on board. We're going to be eating healthy. You need to have a grocery list. And luckily, you don't have to take one. There's this, these new devices. I don't know if you heard of these. They're called smartphone. And you can carry them with you. And you can put your groceries in there so that you can put the healthy foods that you want to eat in there. Because it's very hard to eat healthy foods when you don't have them. <laughs> it's a, it's a damn near impossible. So you look at your refrigerator and you don't have like... You know, like I have my my two carrots and my tomato. Uh, if you don't have fruits, vegetables, or whole you know whole grains of the foods that you're going to eat, you're not going to eat them. I don't care what you're thinking. So use a list, plan it, go there, and start on the outside of the supermarket, right? Because the outside is all like the healthier, fresher foods. The inside is going to be where all your frozen stuff, your packaged stuff is at. So always start at the outside of the store. Now. Now that you got everybody on board, you had a crucial conversation. Everyone's like, yeah, we're, I'm pumped. I'm going to get ripped for the summer. Life is going to be good. Spring's coming up. Now, everyone needs to agree. And then you have to plan the meals. Don't try planning all five meals or all seven meals or all 21 meals or all 30 meals. Start with like one <laughs> key meal. Start with a meal that you know that you can execute nine out of 10 consistently. Is it, you know, breakfast? Is it lunch? Start with those as opposed to starting with the ones that are the hardest to control. Because the ones that are hardest to control, guess what? You're going to have a lot more difficulty. So I found that when people start their own meal planning and start designing a system that works for them, they can usually get breakfast and lunch pretty consistently down Monday through Friday. Well, that's a pretty good place to start. Then they can start peppering some dinners, and then once they get the dinners Monday through Thursday, then maybe the dinners on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So those tend to be a lot uh, different, a lot more different than regular during the regular week. So start with that and look for the ways that you can that you can win in those situations. And when you're preparing food, depending on what you decide, 
one good way to do it is uh, in, involve everybody. If you can get the kids involved, one of my clients, uh, Kimberly, she does a great job. She, her daughter gets involved and starts cutting up the fruits to make the dessert, the dessert, like a little fruit, kind of like a combination, which is fantastic because she loves doing it. The family loves it and they're eating more fruits and vegetables. So it's a win, win, win. Ah, like the Rams, we love to win. <laughs> you can have theme nights, uh, you know, like a like a pasta night or a hamburger night or um, it, it, you know, a chicken night, a soup night, or whatever you guys decide. As long as everyone's on board, then guess what? Now you don't have to think about that stuff anymore. Because the more you can habituate this behavior, the more you can design a system that really serves you, the better off you're gonna be. And then these decisions start being on autopilot. And then you're not you're not thinking about getting in shape because that's just what you are. You're just in shape because you have really uh, great habits. Yeah, uh, here's the hard part, right? Now we get to the, the tougher part, planning for the weekends. And the weekends are gonna be different, um, be, usually because they involve more social settings. There's other people involved. There's eating, eating out, there's restaurants and celebrations, all these things that can prove to be problematic for a diet. So what usually works better for the weekends is to focus on the behavioral mechanics, the engineering that goes behind how you eat, which is in eating slowly, mindfully, you know, drinking water. Uh, these types of deals will help you get through the weekend. And the weekend, maybe your goal is not weight loss. Maybe the goal is just to enjoy it without going over in excess. Because think, if you don't go over in excess and you just hold the line over the weekend, come Monday, you know, you're just going to be on fire and you don't feel like, you know, you got deprived or you, you're missing out on life or that's no way to live or like YOLO <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> if you focus on the mechanics on the weekend and focus on the, those internal cues, you can have a lot of success. But that does take practice. It is a skill that you need to first Think about having the skill, then start practicing the skill until you master the skill, and that will help you uh, achieve your goal, which is the ultimate deal. And it's exactly what we're working on with Miriam, and Miriam's one of my one of my new clients um, online, and she's just she started, you know, she started with the Fit Body Jumpstart, and she loved it, and she said, "Hey, you know, like let me give this a go and see what your Lift Fit formula is all about." And in the program, we're always looking at creating habits, these little habits. And Miriam just started her journey. And the biggest piece that we're implementing with her is to celebrate the tiny wins. Like one of her little habits is to imagine her eating with her son because she wants to be a role model for her son. And by being a role model for her son, it forces her to slow down, be present, and think about what a healthy mom would eat. And the reason I wanted to you know, show her progress is because it's only been a month. But the changes, not just physically, because the, there are physical changes here, the biggest changes are uh, emotionally and with her behaviors. She's got a, a much more positive mindset and is really looking at this like an experiment where she's getting those tiny wins, those tiny wins. And that's how success happens. You see me in a lot of my shows come up with people that have lost the 30, 40, 50 pounds, and people always are like, yeah, I want to do 60 pounds, 50 pounds. But that's not where the winning happens. The winning happens every day on these tiny little decisions that are done consistently over and over and over again. And then that's how you win because the solution for your success is going to be asymmetric. This huge problem that you have is not going to be solved with some huge solution. It's going to be solved with little solutions every single day. So, uh, Marion, thank you so much for trusting me on your journey. I'm super proud of you. I know this is just the beginning of an incredible journey, so be proud. Uh, you're going to make your family very, very proud of you. And uh, obviously, they're going to be healthier as well. So go, Miriam, go. Woo! Dun, dun, dun. And you know, she did face some adversity as well, like this, you know, with this whole COVID thing and schools and work remote and, you know, like like we all do. We, we all face adversity. But, you know, like but when that, you know, the, the, the ocean's jumping, the ship's got to stay straight. You know, you get those sails and you become a really strong uh, sailor. Then when things calm down, it's a lot easier to just go f go straight straight and go fast. So congratulations. Our acid trainer, should I order a meal prep service? Hmm. Great question. People ask me that. Or oh, which one should I order? There's another one I get. 
Well, first, meet with the people involved that are going to make the decision. Don't just order it. And then now you have all these boxes coming every week that people, and then there's stacking, <laughs> stack, 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 stack. Uh, I've seen that happen a lot of times. Um, I would say ask the parties involved, make sure that you guys all are involved in the decision of who's, what you're going to order or which service you're going to try out. Because remember, it's an experiment. You're going to try it out first to see what works, what you like, and then then start making it into a system. Or if you're going to cook or whatever, but try it, meet with the important parties, get everybody involved in the decision, and then start with one meal and then see how it goes. If it goes well, then go the next week, another meal, um, and see how that goes. And just keep iterating, keep practicing until you get it, until you get it down. Um, so the answer is it depends on your unique uh, situation. If you had to get a chance, hit the hashtag live fit, L-I-V-E-F-I-T. Get the secrets of the skinny guide and get a special invite to the fitness Avengers where we keep growing. I think we're close to uh, almost 200 people into the special group. Um, and I'm going to be doing a lot more in this next quarter. This quarter, I'm really, month, I'm really busy, which is good. It's good. It seems like, you know, the New Year's goals got started to a late start because people are, are more apt to start on their New Year's resolutions probably this, this week and la last week and the week before that. So the second half of January. So hopefully we can keep that up. To the end to the new year and i'm a little bit different i want everyone to succeed uh whether you're my kind or not i did i think that we all deserve uh to be ha healthy to be happy and to be enjoying every single moment of our lives and one of the discoveries i made was when i look at my puppy and my you know my dog golden retriever you know underdeveloped uh you know frontal cortex so she doesn't really worry about the future or worry about the past but she's really happy and my goal is to have just as many happy days as my dog. So if you're not having as many happy days as my dog or your dog, um, then maybe it's time to change something. And if health and happiness is a piece that you're missing, maybe it's time to start integrating that and figuring out a system that works for you. Uh, tune in next week. Come in live. I'm going to reveal with you my shocking trainer confessions. <sighs> what, I, what I'm seeing out there right now. It's not pretty, guys. It's not pretty. Again, my name is Tony Ariola, NASA Master Trainer and Author, and you are the reason I exist. Thank you so much for tuning in. And remember, you get no extra days in life. So live your life fit. Woo! Mm -mm -mm -mm. Take it away, Courtney. Mm -mm -mm. Where where'd she go? Where is she? <laughs> We, we lost her. We lost her, folks. Thank you for watching there the Fitness there she Avenger is. live show. There she is. If you like the show, show make sure to like it's it and share. Show. Please join us next week on Facebook Live. It's a live show. This week's show is brought to you by our close by the friends at Total Body by the Project. Rams. <laughs> Visit totalbodyproject.com for more info. Give me the rings.